Warning, the following game which you're about to view is rated T for teen due to animated blood and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, this is Tales for one 9 and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes! I kept Samus waiting, I see. So last video, we start sneaking into the Space Pirates base here in Agon Wastes. Here's some more lore if you don't believe me. Log 06.713.5 The Dark Hunter teleports into the base at will. Our security is proven next to useless against her. Her latest ray was disastrous. Not only do we lose more face onto her, but she also crippled the stealth field generator with her strange new weapons. We are exposed. Until the replacement generator arrives, we will be vulnerable to scans and detection. Our presence here is still minimal. Should the Federation find us, we will be unable to defend our position. Fortunately, Aether is on the fringe of Federation space. With luck, we will have a stealth field back in effect before being detected. Alright, see? We're in a space pirate base, and we saw Dark Samus try and block our way forward. Thankfully, we found another way to go. Oh, jeez! Very well then, what's this? Brimstone. I should have to be able to just shoot that down with a missile, right? Yeah, there we go. And I believe that's what I was supposed to do. Yep. I hear an item. But I somehow doubt I can get it now. I could check for a moment, but I don't think I can get it now. In there. Definitely in there. Okay. Well, then let's head on over. Here we go. Our first confrontation with our dark alter ego. Here comes a fun boss, Dark Samus. This is the first truly great fight, boss fight of the game. Dark Samus won. We'll fight her a few times. Scans indicate the presence of Phazon and your genetic material within this entity. She wears a version of the Varia suit, altered and augmented by the Phazon within her. Primary weapons including the missile launcher and the scatter shot variants of the power beam, boost and jump abilities are superior to yours. The ability to generate phase on energy shields is also present. So, uh, yeah, she'll glide around the arena. Look, trying to. There we go. She, she can summon missiles, but if we use missiles, she'll generally try and counteract it by creating a barrier. She won't really be able to block charge beam shots, though, so that's probably your best bet in this fight. Jeez. I'm trying to keep her in sights and using the radar to help me, but she moves around a lot. Thankfully, we could try to use missiles to distract her, as she'll usually put up a force with- okay, let's block that. Alright, where are you? There you are. Oh, gosh! Some slight invincibility when summoning a missile, it looks like. There we go. So 
So yeah, missiles are mostly best served as a distraction. If she does the scatter shot, just try and hide behind a pillar. There shouldn't always be one within nice range like that. And unfortunately, if she sidesteps, you lose the target, and she even disappears from the radar to represent this. What the? Oh jeez, oh jeez. Don't think I don't see you coming. So yeah, it's a truly chaotic fight, and the first boss in the game that truly feels like a fully fleshed boss fight, honestly. Should be nearing the second phase now. Yep, here's phase two. She gains a new ability. A deadly charge ability at that. Oh, and until she uses it, she's gonna be invincible. And oh great, she can do super missiles now. Ow! And it can destroy these side pillars, so we're really gonna want to rely on the central pillar now. I won't be able to get in too much damage for a little while. Oh, here's the charge attack. Yeah, look at that. There we go. We can still get a shot in before she sidesteps. And now we gotta be careful about the fire. Come on. There we go. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Yeah. This central pillar will be our sole protection now. Especially since uh, she destroyed all the other ones. Where are you? Let me get a good shot at you, darn it. gonna do some regular shots or not. Oh. Alright, come on, come on. Got an itchy back here. I need this fight to end. Whoa, she was sidestepping while doing that. Impressive. Almost got her. There we go. That is a fun boss. One where you better be comfortable with sidestepping to dodge. And generally keeping distance. Well, it almost look, looks like Dark Samus is dead, doesn't it? But her phase on particles are still roaming around the area, so... She's in pieces, but not completely gone. And plus, um, the scan visor did say Dark Samus once, so clearly we're gonna run into her again at some point. Phase on! Here's the phase on again. Remember phase on? I remember phase on. Origin point of phase on unknown. First detection of element on planet Talon 4. Used by space pirates to produce vast levels of energy, bioforms exposed to phase and without proper shielding will eventually undergo radical mutation. That's an important description to keep note of. For sure. I gotta get some missiles. I really gotta get some missiles. But anyways, we can finally get our new item. The Dark Beam. Our first new beam of the game decently early but isn't it exciting dark beam dark beam acquired this will be very effective against enemies in the light world but this also introduces another new mechanic to make sure you don't get too trigger happy with it. Oh, but first... Log 06.989.8 The local war has escalated in intensity. The Shadowlings 
from Dark Aether have launched an offensive. The assault seems focused on a central network of buildings on a central... Atop a mountaintop. A base, perhaps. Strangely, this attack coincides with a rise in planetary instability. Perhaps these shadow creatures are using a new weapon system. The Shadowlings must believe us to be foes, for they have hit our base numerous times as well. We are holding, but attrition is taking its toll on our troops and resources. Reinforcements are en route. We can only wait and defend what is ours. But yeah, uh, unlike other Metroid games, um, these beams have ammo so that you don't use them too much. And a charge shot will use up five of these. Five. And we get 50 units. I'm just going to see if there's anything else to scan here quick. I don't think so, but I just want to make sure. Because we we're probably not coming back here. Anytime soon. But yeah. Blah, 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 blah. There's ammo, so you can't keep spamming these just because they're stronger than the power beam. Or you will run out. However... Should it ever get to the point where you run out of ammo, a charge shot will let you shoot one regular projectile just so that you can open these doors and it doesn't become impossible to survive. Is there anything else to scan while here that's important? Protocol 3 is in effect. Unfortunately, um, the Dark Beam's gonna be very useless in the Dark World, where the enemies are already covered in the darkness. I need ammo. I'm very low on missiles right now. Alright, let's go into the dark world, because with the dark beam, we can actually power up portals ourselves now. But this is a one way. Oh. So in the space parts that came here did not last long, subject to multiple armor breaches, exposing Spy to local atmosphere. Resulting trauma led to multiple organ failure and death. Subject's spine was shattered after a high-velocity impact. The attack crippled the subject, leaving him vulnerable to further attacks and ultimately termination. Jeez. Alright, so there's a light beacon, but if we hit it with a dark beam, it becomes, like, disabled. Nullified beacon. Light beacons, when covered with dark energy, cease to function for a brief time. Light energy can bring the beginning of the dark energy. Some dark creatures will fire dark energy at light beacons to hinder or damage their opponents. I did this for the scam, but this actually does put me in a little bit of danger because now I can't reactivate it for some time. Alright, there we go. Oh, look, there's one of those temple keys. That's good. More falls faster. Uh oh. Don't tell me that's a warrior ring. Oh, it's a nullified crystal. Light crystals, when covered with dark energy, cease to function for a brief time. Light energy can clear the crystal of the dark energy. Some dark creatures will fire. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to wait a little bit on that. What's this? This statue conceals a Luminoth device. Outer shell of such as exposed. Okay, compose a brimstone. It's a light lift crystal. Luminoth lift platform will lower when crystals energized by dark weaponry. Used by Luminoth forces during their war, most still function despite periodic abuse from the egg. Alright then, oh, that's nice, that's nice. I can't open light doors yet. I think you can tell what I'm gonna need for that. Looks like some sort of a puffer up there. Oh, jeez! 
Such appears to have been terminated by his own forces, evidence of parasitic infestation present, such as may have turned on his allies against his will. Eesh. There you are. Dark Preed. The aggressive Preeds are often possessed by darklings for aerial hunting missions. The presence of the dark creature makes a small cyborg more durable. The toxic gas carried by a Preed is enhanced by exposure to dark energy, making it considerably more dangerous. Well then let's kill him before he gets too close. I'm just gonna have to... Yep, I am just gonna have to tank it for now. I better pick this up. There we go. A dark temple key. There's one more. Oof, that's better. Oh, now, wait a minute. It's over this way. There's two ways I can go. And I don't know which way's better. Um, maybe not this way yet. The fact that they make me run through like this, jeez. Is what I need this way? I don't know, but there was a dark key here, so I'm thinking of going this way first. Uh, no, I'm not going this way yet. I'm not going this way yet. There. Oh, shoot. He's just being a Mr. Roar. Roar, you roar. Ow. He charged into me. He's mean. Ow, what hit me? Uh oh. Not again. I can't with him! Did that- I think I killed him. Sweet. There's phase on. Oh, I did scan you before, alright then. There we go. Now let's go this way. The Hall of Stairs? What kind of a name is that for a room? Silly, that's what it is. There appears to be a component of some sort for transportation. Can I break it? Give me stuff! I, I really need stuff. I am not getting a lot of stuff. Aha!
Right, in here. And here's a save room. How nice. Yeah, this is the only way to go right now. So let's say I gotta stop here actually. Time's up. We're gonna be continuing through Dark Aether in the next video, and I should be able to get the next item. Until then though, this has been TalesFan109 and have a nice day.